fortunate at the age of 33 to receive uh, Shaktipat Kundalini waking from Swami Muktananda. And in that very first time in 1975, went very deep into nothing and came out and the voice rang out and said, it should learn to eat and live in a way that supports the Kundalini energy. Do and put those kind of labels on it and not really knowing what all that means just doing our own particular personal dance and hoping that it has some sort of relevance and meaning. And we have to start from our own core to make that happen, and that's what it's really all about. Throughout the century, people have understood certain correlations between where our body's position and how it functions, the relationship between form and function. Every movement, we're bringing that breath in that microcosmic orbit through the body. So you do the green tea, the mandarin, and the almond milk. And it makes this green mandarin chai. It's fantastic. On the green drinks, the wheatgrass has more, more beta carotene than carrot juice ever had. Now, understand if the whole world were vegan, we'd have enough food to feed the whole world seven times over. The thing that we must do is disconnect and uh, it became a phenomenon that pain was uh, basically a companion and I thought that was the normal way uh, that life should be. When the breath is steady, the mind gets steady. And that's the essence. And you simply do that until it disappears.